prepared you for your decision making and give them everything that we have yet to be made whole. What are you going to do with this? I appreciate you. So, you did. Good. You, I, I'd be right there with you. I'd be, right there, I'd be right there with you on that. So, I'm not a descendant of slaves. My parents were legal immigrants to this country. That's different than the flood of migrants coming across the southern border now. So, I'll tell you some, some easy stuff we can agree on right away. And then I want to get to the meat of it because what are you going to do is different than just the short term stuff. The short term stuff is easy. If we can use $100 billion to secure somebody else's border in God knows where, halfway around the world, we can take a small fraction of that and use our own military to secure our own border. Okay? Fight some pointless war somebody else, somewhere else. What's that done for us? Not a lot of good and a lot of time. We can use that to secure our own border. It's not just the people. And I want to say something, actually, because talking truth today, right? So let's get real. I talked to a reporter yesterday from a Chicago newspaper. She asked me, why are you coming here to divide black from brown communities? <laughs> right? You're driving a wedge. Isn't that what you're trying to do and show up? No, I'm actually really honest about this. I want to say this when we talk about the migrant discussion. If I were one of those migrants living a life of squalor on the other side of our southern border or further down, I'd probably be doing the same thing that they are. There's a country there with a person in charge saying that they have laws, but they put it in air quotes. They don't mean it. They're giving me a wink and a nod to come pursue a better life than I have in Honduras or wherever I am. I'd probably be doing the same thing. So I think as human beings, we are all equal because we're made in the image of God. We're equal in the eyes of each other. We should be because we're equal in the eyes of God as human beings. But as a nation, we have to be looking out for our own citizens first because that's what it means to be a leader of a nation. Okay, that's different. So, so here's the thing I would say is when, the, when you say our people, what do I hear? I hear all of us. Right? All of us are, are our people. We are the American people. And yes, it was not immigrants. It wasn't people like my parents who built this country up. It was actually people for generations that welcomed me and gave people like my parents and me the ability to live in this country and enjoy all that we have. It was slaves included. Absolutely it was. So, so the question is, what your question was, what are we going to do about it? So I want to cut checks. I'll tell you what checks I want to cut. Here's a check I want to cut. Maybe a different kind of check than you're used to hearing about, but it's a check I want to cut. How much do they spend on kids in public schools right. per year? $40,000 a year. You want to know how much a charter school spends on average? Half of that. So here's an idea. I'm, I'm actually curious what you guys think about it. I haven't made it part of my platform yet, but I'm thinking about it. Well, take, you got the vouchers for sure, but better than that, take the extra $20,000 per kid and then just give it tax-free to the family. Yeah. Literally take the money from the managerial class in schools, Randy Weingarten, teachers unions, whatever it is, and literally give it to the family. How about that? It's an idea. We're considering it. 20000 bucks a year. In Chicago, it would be $20,000 a year, and the school would still then just be running at the average of what many other private schools are already operating at per year because there's a lot of that fat. You want to talk about actually money for working families? A lot of reasons why it's difficult to bring a second or third child in is because you don't have the income to be able to support it. You don't know what Hungary does? I talked about, I talked to one of the leaders of the nation of Hungary the other day. I think it's kind of cool to talk to people from other countries, see what's working there, and then, and then keep an open mind and learn. They say if you have more than three kids and you're a working family, you know what? That's a good thing because you're bringing people into the country who should have been brought in. Cut them a check from the federal government. I think that's a pretty interesting idea, too. So that's what's going through my mind. But like I said, I came here to listen. If you have other better ideas than that, I'm all ears because America first applies to all Americans, not just the select few that the Republican Party talks to or the Democratic Party talks to, for that matter. So that's where I'm at on it.